Good morning, everyone. It's been a while. <laughs> Thought I'd come out and have a chat with you in the woods. It's beautiful here. I don't know if you can hear all the birds. I love it. I've been, I've asked Metatron if he'd come talk to me today. So I wanted to show you. I got a new pendulum that is the most beautiful tiger eye you've ever seen. It's gorgeous. And I am Cancer with Leo Sun Rising, I believe. And I've always been attracted to cats. Kitty cats. <laughs> I recently lost a kitty. I went and adopted a dog from the pound. And uh, he was a big old husky. And he only had one eye. And I just figured nobody... He had this bad skin disease. And I just figured no one would want him. So I adopted him. And I brought him home, and he killed one of my cats. So, I've been very sad <laughs> and guilt-ridden until I finally laid it to rest. Um, but I've always been attracted to cats, especially big cats. Love me some big cats. So anyway, we're going to ask Metatron a couple questions today, and then I just thought I'd pull a couple cards um, from my Angels of Atlantis deck and... Uh, my namaste deck and uh, go from there um, I might actually pull one from the rebel deck too <laughs> and the mood deck because <laughs> you know I love those um, so uh, let's just get going here um, so I'm going to try and hold my arms Ooh, that's on the computer okay I'm recording on my computer because my phone will no longer record and I don't know whether to look up there or down there, but I'm looking, trying to look at the actual camera. <laughs> I'm trying to be professional here. <laughs> Me. Okay, so, uh, good morning. Is this Archangel Metatron I'm talking to? I've been doing this lately. I might just do it right now. I hold this beautiful little crystal on the end on my third eye. And can you see if I lean up? Wait a minute. Let's just lean the camera down. Oh, then you can't see my hand. <laughs> Maybe if I back up a little. Um, I like to do that because then I know I'm not moving it. Other than like when I'm talking. So am I speaking to Archangel Metatron? Can you show me a no? Okay, thank you. So, Archangel Metatron, are autistic people a gift to this world? I mean, a gift as in they're here to teach us. And not only do they teach the parents patience, incredible patience, but they also teach the parent that there's a different type of reality, that it points the way to understanding there's more to our reality than we know. You know, there's other dimensions. Um, there's other beings. And I'm wondering, thank you. I'm wondering, um, I've heard they're star children. Is this true? Okay. I've heard they're star children. I've also heard they're indigo children, which means they're maybe alien. Okay, and um, um, when they teach us that there's a different reality that they're in where they don't care what other people think, it's not even on their spectrum, <laughs> um, they, they're almost always happy and joyful. 
Is that due to the species of alien that they are? No. Is it due to... Um, is something missing from their brain that we have that they don't? Um, well, um, I gotta put my arm down a minute. Um, so I don't, I don't know what it could be, but I'm gonna pull a Namaste card, and you give me the card that is closest to what we're talking about. Is that cool? I'm guessing that's a yes. Okay, so I'm going to pull a Namaste card and see, push me back up a little bit, and see if he can tell me a little more about these beautiful children that are coming into the world that we think are autistic and we think are, are dumb or um, not as advanced mentally, but I can tell you right now, they're more advanced than we are. They are in a whole different, a whole different reality. And a lot of the time it's a reality that we can't see, but they can. So, um, I worked with a couple autistic adults a few years ago and they... They don't understand stupid things like convention or having to dress a certain way or having to eat a certain way. They think that's like menial and ridiculous. You know, they're like, why do we have to do this? This is just so stupid. Just do it. Just go. Just whatever. But anyway. All right. Uh, Archangel Metatron. Should I pull from the middle? Okay. what we got. <laughs> huh. Write a love letter to yourself, just like you would do if you were writing a love note to your sweetheart. Be generous with your compliments. See yourself the way your crush would see you. When we invite love into our lives, there's no room for fear. Writing a letter of love to yourself will help push away any fears or doubts that may be haunting you. That's interesting. Um... Maybe that's because they have so much love. I've I've never met a, an autistic person who wasn't loving in some capacity. They they might not be loving as in wanting hugs and touches and things like that, but they're loving in the fact that they'll just come up to you for no reason and just touch your face and look in your eyes. It's like they're reading your soul. They're on a whole different level, people. I really think we need to start um, treating autism differently, much differently. So, um, I don't want to do politics. It just, well, I'll do that with the rebel deck. <laughs> Because, you know, I love a good rebel. <laughs> um, but I do want to pull a, a real quick card from the Angel Atlantis deck. Um, these are always so big. Um, let's go this way. Um, these are enormous. Because <laughs> the Archangels are enormous. If you've ever seen one, you know they're freaking enormous. Their wings alone are just massive when they show them, when they show you they have wings. They don't always have wings, but... Okay, so now I'm gonna cut the deck. Let's see who we get. Gabriel! Ah, oh, Grace! I love Gabriel. Gabriel's such a sweetie. Grace. Have a little Grace, people. I mean, it really speaks for itself. When you have grace, you're showing kindness. You're showing that you're not judging someone. 
super, super important. I find these days so many people judge without, without cause, without reason. Like they'll take on a cause or a reason that they didn't even know about because of an instant judgment, an instant, somebody tells them an inst a story and instantly they're like, oh, I'm so against that without even hearing maybe the other side of the story. So, have grace. Forgive people. Love you, Gabriel. Forgive people. Be kind. I want to have a worldwide internet peace manifestation. I'm wondering if any of you would be interested in joining me and inviting your friends and doing an actual manifestation for peace across the globe. I manifest on it every morning that and I manifest on visualizing soldiers dropping their weapons, um, the cartels, the rapists, the one who are raping women at the border continually, just horrifying. They're kidnapping those women as they go in to the bureau to come across the border. They're kidnapping the women and just holding them for ransom and raping them repeatedly. And I don't think a lot of people have heard that yet, but that's what's going on on the other side of the border. And you wonder why these people are desperate to come in. God, have a little compassion, people. So anyway, I want to do a, a, an internet manifestation for peace across the world. And if anybody would be interested, I know I only have 40 family followers <laughs> but <laughs> if you're hearing this comment below and, and let me know if you'd be interested that's something I've been wanting to do for a long time I've I've um, mentioned it to Andrea Lilac Lantern but I haven't seen her online for a while I'm hoping she's okay she's been gone for a while now um, either that or maybe she changed her name and I don't know it but um, her and uh, and I think Danny Shea would even get in on it if, if I could if I talk him into it <laughs> I haven't asked him yet <laughs> I'm, I'm one of his followers but I keep thinking you know we need to ask and and you know send this around and do something productive together I mean god people the amount of energy when we get together is amazing we can alter the timelines of millions of people literally alter the timeline of this earth um, if we did a manifestation for peace across the globe and for mom earth to heal herself from all of our damage and which she is right now I can tell you that um, she's always pointing out to me that she doesn't like all the pavement the pavement alters the course of the water and um, changes things irrevocably when we put down pavement everywhere so maybe we get back to footpaths <laughs> or more like nature trails plant trees and stuff and and stop having to roar by at 90 miles an hour you know stay at home stay in a make a community you know create a community you know um, anyway so I wanted to pull a Rebel Deck card just for fun <laughs> on Trump. <laughs> you all know how I feel about him. I had to take down that video because I got quite irate that day. Um, but let's just pull one or two quick ones for the old Trumpster. Dumpster, Trumpster. Rapist, racist, and a traitor. And people are still voting for him the insanity of it all. Okay. Believe what you see. <laughs> Face reality or live in fucking la-la land. Choose bravely. <laughs> Face reality or live in fucking la-la land. <laughs> Choose bravely. And the next one is you are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. <laughs> uh, 
All right, well that sums up what I was saying earlier. Let's get together and do some some massive internet manifesting. Wouldn't that be awesome? Um, but that wasn't about Trump. So I'm going to pull one from the mood deck. <laughs> Just for fun. <laughs> Just to see what old dumpster's up to. See what his life's like right now. <laughs> I feel bad for him sometimes for about a half a second. I really do because he deserves what he's getting, but I try to be kind and I feel bad for him because he's he's going to have a heart attack. He's going to something health-wise is going to take him out. He is losing it. He's got dementia or or Alzheimer's. It sounds just like my mother did a, a year ago and she's already, you know, pretty far along in Alzheimer's. Anyway, this is for Trump. Listen here, sticks. I set y'all up and I'll knock y'all right back down. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. The seven of wands, I believe. The seven of wands. <laughs> yeah, that's Trump. That's what he thinks. And then, oh no. He got the three of swords such heart pain such heart pain and I know I, I can see it in his eyes he's he's going to give himself a heart attack he is such an angry angry man living in his ego mind has no idea what that he's not his ego thoughts um, I, I do feel sorry for him but And I would throw him a rope if he was drowning in a river. But that's only because I believe karma will take him out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So that's about it for today, folks. Um, like I said, uh, like and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Um, but make a comment down below if you'd like to get in on an internet manifestation of peace. I'm... Uh, the power we could all manifest together it's like quadrillion tripling it you know it's just it's phenomenal and I think we should start doing it on a regular basis and change this world that's what we're here for to change this world raise the vibration let's go people <laughs> all right talk to you soon take care